Do you want to make some awesome apple turnovers? First, we're going to get the filling ready. So we're going to peel our apples and let them sit and kind of meld flavors with the spices. This little peeler is an amazing kitchen gadget if you don't have one. You saw a jam there, but it really makes easy work of peeling apples. The peeling gadget comes with a, a coring slicer gadget as well, but I find it gets stuck. So I like to just use a knife to cut the apple off the cores. You can totally do this part by hand, but I like to use our food processor on pulse and chop up the apples. Here I split it into two batches because there was a lot. And dump that in a bowl and do the second batch. Now we're gonna add the rest of the filling ingredients. This is some maple syrup and some vanilla for flavor. Then some lemon juice for our freshness. And then our spice blend. We've got some Ceylon cinnamon, some nutmeg, some ginger. A little bit of tapioca to thicken up the juices when it cooks. And give it a good stir. And if you're not making your turnovers right away, it's nice to seal the filling and throw it in the fridge and let the flavors kind of meld a little bit and the apples will soften. We're gonna get out our puff pastry. We get ours from a bakery in Montreal called Le Marquis Sans Gluten. They make phenomenal gluten-free, dairy-free pastries. So first we unroll the roll and then we're gonna get another piece of parchment and we're gonna use a rolling pin and roll it out a little bit thinner. That way we can get six nice squares out of it. I just eyeball this part. You, know, you eyeball halfway and cut it, and then you're gonna cut the other direction into three. So you'll end up with six pieces all together per roll. You could leave them on this parchment, but I like to move them so they're a little separated on a big sheet tray easier to work with. Now we're going to grab our filling and I always, always overstuff these things. I want to put so much filling in it that they always explode on me. You really only want a tablespoon or two. Fold them over and give them a little pinch to seal them. We're going to come back with a fork and seal them really good after. back with the fork you know, press all the way around on all of them also makes them look really pretty you definitely don't want to forget this part cutting vent holes lets the steam out of your turnovers And a bit of egg wash. Make sure the outside of the puff pastry gets nice and golden brown and flaky. Then we finish it off with a sprinkle of organic cane sugar for a bit of crunch and sparkle. And then into our oven at 325 for 25 minutes. They'll be golden brown and flaky and smell so good and be bubbling away. You gotta wait a little while before you try one though because the inside is steamy hot. Don't they look awesome? <laughs>